Good morning, good evening. We're in Vitoria. I am captain of the 7th Army Patriot, Spanish, volunteer of Biscay. Uh, I am going to explain you what uh, the Peninsular War really means. Uh, we have here General Gabriel de Mendizabal Eiraeta, a Basque general who led troops in the north of Spain to protect the flanks of the Wellington's army. Uh, 1812 is a very complicated uh, battle for Wellington. Uh, here we are uh, seeing what uh, the garrison of Burgos made uh, to avoid the attack of Wellington in October of that year, 1812. Uh, the fortress was a very strong stronghold and Wellington have not uh, enough uh, artillery to seize the, the stronghold. So he must retreat from Burgos to uh, Portugal again. So the Battle of Salamanca uh, was uh, nothing after that. Um, there is even a street in London called Burgos Grove uh, where the Londoners remember to <laughs> Lord Wellington that great defeat that was uh, avoided, in fact, by the 7th Spanish Army. We are seeing here uh, an officer, uh, British, giving orders to volunteers of the 7th Spanish Army led by General Gabriel de Mendizabal Eiraeta. Here is a Navarrese uh, volunteer and here is a uh, Basque volunteer, uh, Gipuzkoan. Uh, in January of the year 1813, this army, the 7th Army, is uh, cutting the advance of the French uh, reinforcements and uh, due to this uh, operation, uh, military operation, uh, it's possible the next year or uh, more exactly uh, after January 1813, it's possible in June 1830, the Battle of Vitoria and the great victory at Vitoria. And here, uh, the association uh, of the city uh, devoted to uh, reenact uh, the battle of Victoria in the year 1813. Uh, Huck made this uh, roll-ups uh, to explain to the citizens uh, the importance of that monument devoted to the Victoria in Victoria. Eh? It's more or less. Uh, a rare piece, eh? this, this monument. Uh, that's why the association and other institutions of the Basque Country and of the city uh, are trying to uh, reshape the monument and to maintain the monument uh, to remember all this. Eh? The importance of all these battles in Burgos, in Castrurdiales, in Samano, in other parts that led to the great victory of Vitoria in June 1813. Uh, the importance of that uh, victory at Vitoria was uh, quite important. Uh, even uh, create a fashion uh, called uh, Fashion Vitoria. Uh, the Duchess of York uh, created uh, around 20 models devoted to remember in a great ball in the Bows Hall uh, the great Victoria victory at Vitoria. That uh, the construction of the of the of the fashion Vitoria it's made by uh, El Vestidor de Clio. Eh? Well yeah we have another piece to explain uh, how the islanders of the 71 regiment and how the uh, riflemen, the famous green jackets, are being leading by uh, Milord Wellington to victory in Vitoria. And uh, we have here another uh, model of uh, fashion Vitoria. Hmm? There are around 20 models, more or less. And we have here another roll-ups to explain uh, the importance of the monument, the importance of the battle. Eh? And here we have an interesting piece. Why was so important the victory of 
Italia. We have here King German Legion uh, coat of arms. And it's in the monument in Vitoria. And uh, this is important because these people, uh, the King's German Legion, was fighting uh, in the Wellingtonian army. And the reason was because Prussia, uh, the, the country, uh, had been defeated by Napoleon and was occupied by French troops. And uh, a part of the Prussians leave uh, Prussia just to uh, follow on with the fight against Napoleon. But they must to fight here in Spain because Prussia was uh, occupied by the French troops. And the monument remembers that. Eh? No, 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 no. And after the battle no, 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 no. in Vitoria no, no, in the year 1813, no, no. Uh, the Prussians decide to attack. Eh? Before that, they, they cannot do exactly nothing. <laughs> they don't dare to do exactly nothing. Eh? And that's why uh, it's important to have that monument and explain the story to the citizens. Uh, that is what, what we are doing now. Farewell. See you.